the U factor eight a molecule or treatment option, providing high sustained factor eight levels for most of the week with a once weekly infusion. So the molecule itself is uh, a very important step in providing long half-life since it is not bound to von Willebrand factor um, imposed half-life ceilings because it doesn't bind to von Willebrand factor and therefore isn't cleared by von Willebrand factor. And as many of you may know that usually factor eight is subject to von Willebrand binding and therefore any kind of previous half-life extensions were still sort of impeded by the von Willebrand factor half-life. So with how the molecule is engineered, this is not the case anymore. It has um, an FC half-life extension that is part of an immunoglobulin. It has proprietary X10 polypeptide uh, molecules, and it has a small fragment of von Willebrand factor that then provides that then prevents the von Willebrand factor binding. So with that, there is near normal or normal half-life of the eight after an infusion for most of the week. And even after one week, when the next infusion would take place, um, trough levels are still quite high. And we don't even like to call them trough levels anymore because they're on the order of 15 to 20%. So that is the background. And so how does that fit into existing therapies? Well, as you all know, we have various standard factor eight treatment or prophylaxis options with either standard half-life or extended half-life, whereas the extended half-life options right now all just offer maybe a half-life of about 15 hours, again, because of the um, necessity or big van Willebrand factor clearance and dependence. But EFA has a half-life of 47 hours. So that makes all the difference in terms of being able to just infuse once weekly. Whereas with all the other products, it's two, three, sometimes for some patients, even four times weekly. So that will sort of revolutionize, I believe, how we can offer prophylaxis with clotting factor preparations for hemophilia A patients. The other option that patients have currently is go on a, a drug called Hemlibra, and that is a non-factor product. So Hemlibra, modulates the coagulation system, um, providing sustained factor eight equivalency levels because we really can't measure factor eight uh, because it's not a factor eight drug, it's, an, it's a mimetic um, to about 10 to 20%. So um, that is a once weekly subcutaneous injection. And um, that's something to be discussed with the physicians. What is the right medication for the patient at the right time under the right circumstances. Yeah, so we have intravenous factor eight once weekly. It was near normal factor eight levels. And we have the subcutaneous hemlibra providing um, lower levels, equivalency levels. 